A tourist exploring a jungle came face to face with a tiger. But that's not even the surprising part. The tiger did something completely unexpected. She gave him her cub. What the tourist did next will change the way you see wildlife. Marcus is passionate about wildlife, exploring jungles and forests around the world to learn about and protect the natural world. One day, while walking deep into the jungle, Marcus heard a low guttural growl. It was unmistakably the sound of a tiger. Marcus's heartbeat almost stopped as he froze in place, realizing that a tiger was lurking nearby. If this big cat was hungry, he'd stand little chance. But Marcus, full of reckless curiosity, decided this was an opportunity he couldn't pass up. Risking his life for a photo might sound insane, but that's just who he was. With deliberate steps, Marcus moved through the thick underbrush, each footfall carefully placed to avoid alerting the source of the growl. As he approached a small clearing, he saw a heartbreaking sight. A tiger cub was struggling, its leg trapped in a cruel metal snare. The cub's eyes were wide with fear and pain, and its cries for help were filled with desperation. Nearby, a full-grown female tiger, likely the cub's mother, was pacing back and forth. Her amber eyes blazed with fury, her muscles tensed as she repeatedly lunged at the trap, trying to free her cub. With each attempt from the mother tiger, the trap's grip tightened, driving the metal deeper into the cub's tender flesh. Marcus knew that approaching would be risky, as the mother tiger was clearly agitated and ready to defend her cub at any cost. But he also knew that if he didn't act, the cub's situation would only worsen. He took a deep breath, calming himself as much as he could, knowing that one wrong move could escalate the situation into something far more dangerous. Marcus decided to take action. As Marcus slowly approached, the mother tiger growled loudly, baring her teeth. He knew that any sudden movement could trigger an attack, but he also understood that if he didn't act, the cub might not survive. He moved cautiously, his eyes locked with the tigers, signaling that he meant no harm. The tigress took a few steps back, her muscles tense and her ears pinned back, ready to pounce if Marcus made a wrong move. Marcus reached the trap, his hands trembling as he worked to release the mechanism. He spoke softly to the cub, trying to soothe it while keeping an eye on the mother tiger. The slightest yelp from the cub could trigger a violent response from the mother. After what felt like an eternity, the trap finally released, and the cub stumbled free. It immediately ran to its mother, who licked its wounded leg tenderly. Marcus knew this was his chance to retreat, and he slowly backed away, maintaining eye contact with the mother tiger. When he was a safe distance away, he turned and ran back toward his car, his heart pounding in his chest. But as Marcus reached his car, he'd heard another growl, this time softer and more plaintive. He turned to see the mother tiger carrying her cub in her mouth, approaching him. He froze, unsure of what to expect. The tigress dropped the cub at his feet and growled quietly, as if asking for help. The cub's leg was still bleeding, and the wound looked severe. Marcus realized that the tigress trusted him enough to seek his help. He quickly called the wildlife park medical team, explaining the urgent need for assistance. The team arrived swiftly, sedating the mother tiger to prevent further stress and carefully transporting both the tigress and her cub to the park's veterinary hospital. Marcus kept asking himself where the traps in the jungle came from. Were there just one, or could there be more? The big question was who set these traps? Were they poachers? Marcus decided to find out. With maps, GPS gadgets, and tracking tools, Marcus and the rangers started to search the jungle. They needed to find more traps because if they stayed hidden, more animals might get hurt. As they went further into the wild, they found some disturbing things, traps of different sizes, some already sprung, others still set and waiting for their next catch. The sight was heartbreaking. They found several animals injured by the cruel devices. A deer with its leg mangled, a wild boar struggling to move, a couple of smaller animals that hadn't survived. The horror of it was magnified by the realization that these animals had likely been caught for days, left to suffer without food or water, all for the sake of a poacher's profit. The rangers worked quickly, freeing the trapped animals they could save and removing the devices that posed a further threat. In the following days, Marcus visited the hospital frequently to check on the tigress and her cub. The veterinarians worked tirelessly to treat the cub's injury, and the mother tiger watched over her cub from a separate enclosure. As the cub's leg healed, Marcus grew more attached to the pair, bringing them food and spending time talking to them through the enclosure. He felt a unique connection with these majestic creatures, knowing that his actions had given them a second chance at life. 
Finally, the day came when the veterinarians deemed it safe to release the tigress and her cub back into the wild. The team transported the pair to a secluded area of the jungle, away from human activity, where they could reintegrate into their natural habitat. Marcus stood at a distance. The mother tiger stepped out cautiously, her head low as she sniffed the air, assessing the new environment. As the tigress ventured further into the jungle, she paused and turned her head back toward Marcus. Her eyes met his, and she let out a soft growl, a gentle rumble that seemed to say thank you. It felt like a gesture of gratitude. Marcus smiled, feeling a deep sense of fulfillment, knowing that his efforts had made a difference. Marcus and the rangers then turned their attention to catching the poachers. They had found too many injured animals and traps in the jungle to ignore. The rangers tracked the poachers to a hidden campsite deep in the woods, uncovering clear evidence of illegal hunting. Traps, animal carcasses, and maps detailing trap locations were all present. The rangers arrested the poachers and led them away in handcuffs. Marcus felt relieved knowing these culprits would face justice. With the poachers in custody, the rangers spent the rest of the day removing traps from the jungle. It was hard work, but they were determined to make the jungle safe again. By day's end, they had cleared all the traps they could find. The park was now safer, and Marcus was glad the poachers had been caught. As the sun set, Marcus reflected on the events, rescuing the tiger cub, reuniting it with its mother, and capturing the poachers. It had been a tough few days, but it was worth it. Marcus did an amazing job helping wildlife, showing us that one person can make a big difference. We can all learn from his dedication and bravery. What would you do if you were in Marcus's shoes? Would you have the courage to face danger and do what's right? Write your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. See you in the next video.